Welcome Aries, I'm Brenda, Brenda Terrell, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle reading for the week of July the 1st to July the 8th, 2019. Again, I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, but most of all, subscribing to them. Please be sure to click that bell button next to subscribe and you'll get notified immediately when these go out on open air. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. Every single card will not resonate with every single Aries out there on the planet, but if some of it does, run with it like I always tell you and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I invite you to go up and click that button in the top right hand corner of this video and you will see all the information you need and all the services that I offer. The rest of the information here is listed below my video. Okay, my beautiful Aries, let's see what we have here for this week of July the 1st for the holiday weekend. Let's see what we have for this week. Well, you're all over energy, uh, Aries, is the three of fire. <clears throat> and this is known as the three of wands in traditional tarot here. And this is showing me that you need to expect things to improve. Things are, are looking better. You're able now to step up and look forward towards your towards your future and on the horizon as to where you want to go now. I do see things freeing up for you. This is this is a card of good energy and things are very good at this time. I want you to be patient because you're not quite there yet. And when this abundance comes into you, this it's going to make you feel such a release. Uh, it's going to be so... i got to move my cat. Sorry, guys. But he is right up here on the desk. Charlie, you get down. You stay down, sweetheart. No, you can't come up here. No. Sorry about that. Okay, so back to these three of wands, uh, Aries. It's telling me that you're going to be able to make long-term plans, okay? But you have to be patient at this time while you're waiting for this abundance to come in. It's going to be liberating. It's almost going to be freeing to you, where you're going to be free now to set up and plan and plot your, your the, the path on your next journey, on your towards your future, where you want to go. And, you know, it's almost like you've been uh, looked upon uh, by the grace of the divine. It's almost like you've had protection around you throughout all your difficult times because you, they're still there. The divine spirit and your guides are still there. They've got your back. So I do see that things are going to improve soon. <clears throat> now, going into the beginning of your week, you have the queen and the king of pentacles here, the queen of fire. And this is telling me in the angel tarot, this is telling me that, you know what, you need to step up into your confidence and don't be afraid to go forward. She's sitting there. She's got that black cat in front of her. She's totally oblivious to it. She's ignoring it. She has no fear. She's looking out towards her future, where it is she wants to go, and she's going to step out into that. And this is all about you <clears throat> having this liberated feeling, being able to stretch your wings and fly now, Aries. I don't want you to underestimate yourself. If you've lost your confidence along the way, you need to pick it up on the path as you move beyond it. And you're going to be able to assert your independence and creativity now by stepping up like this queen, taking control of your court and not letting, letting anything intimidate or allow fear to lead you on your path. Right next to the queen, you've got the king of wands. And uh, it's amazing, it's amazing this energy that you're getting here with your self-development for this week and where it is you're going on your path. And you're going to be focusing on something. You know, he's sitting there, he's looking towards his future, and he sees this court and he's deciding and plotting on where it is he wants to go and what he wants to do. So I do see that you're going to be communicating with a lot of other people uh, this week. You may be networking, you may be having interviews, you may be, uh, you know, uh, sending out resumes or something out there, and you're going to be communicating with people. And you're going to be doing it with vision, okay? They show me that you have the ability to be a leader, to step up, be self-employed, be your own personal entrepreneur. Perhaps some of you are going to set up your own business, consulting business, a networking business, whatever business it is that you do in your expertise. I do see some of you maybe stepping up to become your own entrepreneur, your own boss, your own, your own leader. I do see that the King of Fire is someone who may be coming into you, an Aries, a Leo, or uh, another Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius coming into you to give you some advice, to help you to, to uh, focus and where you should be going in the direction you should be going. But this could also be you, Aries, stepping up into your power, stepping up into your, your full capacity to know what uh, you, and, and allowing your full potential to come out so that you can move forward on your path. You can move forward to, to look towards your horizon and know that the abundance will come in if you stay focused and you align yourself up 
and keep your head down and continue putting the effort into it. At the end of the week, uh, you know, something emotional might be going on. You might, uh, you might be parting ways with someone. You, you might be having a heart-to-heart -heart discussion with somebody. Uh, but you're standing there, you're thinking about, you know, uh, the spilt milk and the cups that, that have fallen here and not the ones that you still have behind you. Something may be ending and a new beginning may be coming in with a relationship for some of you. You know, it's like things didn't turn out the way that you'd wish they did or hope that they would on an emotional level. And often the water cards, the cups have to do, uh, you know, they have to do with abundance in our lives and in the emotional part of our lives. And it is about emotion and it often can have to do with relationships in our lives and intimate ones. So it's showing me that you're not seeing the positive in a situation. So I don't want you to cry over spilt milk. Move on, okay? You still have cups to fill. Lean into that prosperity. Lean into that uh, that fulfillment of filling those cups that are there. Lift your head up. Again, you have the king and the queen here. You have the power to do that. I see that you're going to do that. I see that the outcome here will be fine. But when things don't happen quick enough, try not to be due to, too discouraged, Aries, okay? Pick your head up and move forward because these are good positive cards of moving full forward and leaning into your fulfillment and your abundance. So coming into the Lennerman deck, and I previously uh, shuffled these ahead to save time so that you're not watching me shuffle cards. You just want to see this reading here. You've got the compass. And again, I told you, you have this direction coming in. You're going to be moving forward, Aries, in a whole new direction in your life. Things are changing. Things are ending. Things There's going to be new beginnings coming in here. And you're going to be able to set your compass now and focus on where it is you want to go and move in that direction. There will be a commitment here coming in. And this commitment might be coming in with a new love uh, in your life. Uh, someone that you, you, you haven't been able to commit to or them to you at this point. But I do see there could be a wedding. There could be an engagement. There could be a verbal commitment. There could be a commitment to move in together, to share your life together. But this is full circle, and this means things are going to firm up. It's going to become solid. Here's your gift of love, my friend, Aries. So you you realize this is what you want. It comes in right beside here. You know, things are ending here, perhaps in a relationship, and a new one is beginning. This is, it. This is a beautiful bouquet of the roses. Roses mean love. So I do see things, you know, this could be something is over and something new is beginning here. Beautiful. Okay, and you know what? It's all meant to be, as you know. The final cards coming up for you, Aries, from the Ascended Masters deck, and this is one I'm using for this week, is clear and shield your energy. So, you know, you might have to remove some toxic, toxic people, energy, you know, thought patterns, something like that around you. Um, you know, it's all about, um, you know, also being around, uh, you know, a sensitive person. Maybe you've absorbed some of their toxic energy. So be careful about who you keep close in your circle or uh, beside you on your right arm there, uh, Aries, okay? So it asks, this card asks you to stop and call on, uh, on, on the divine and, and Archangel Michael because this is what this, this is about, you know, and they can shield and elevate the energy in your home and in your circle, in your energy, your, the, the aura around you and within your life. So, but you're asked to shield, okay? So, you know, you might have to cut the cords of some fearful attachment between you and other people or possessions, Okay. So I want you to stay clear of harsh and toxic substances that aren't healthy for you, uh, you know, or the environment and relationships that aren't healthy for you, that are toxic. You know, walk away from them. Honor your sensitivity. Keep your thoughts as positive areas as you can to keep your energy clear and clean. I want you to eliminate any clutter or and use feng shui, uh, feng shui to clear the energy in your home and your office. So this is all about, you know, moving on in a new direction, realizing that you need to get rid of anything that doesn't serve your purpose or that may be toxic around you and clearing all that out by clear and clear your energy shield here okay keep yourself protected and away from that because it only drags you down your final card from the answers from the angels is meditation so it makes sense that you got this you know clear and shield your energy card now it says you know trying to uh, come up with a, an intellectual answer uh you know when you ask questions and you're not getting the answers, it's often good to take yourself to that silence, and that's meditation, okay? Because this will be the solution uh, that only you can find by doing this in meditation. And you might also gather insights from your nighttime dreams as your subconscious creates solutions for you that are not available in the waking mind. So take yourself to the silence. Think long and hard areas about your direction because you're going in a new direction here. There's commitment here and love coming in. You're going to be able to set your compass and realize the direction you want to go. You're stepping into your power here, 
okay? You have your queen by your side, and here you are. This may have to do with this here, with moving on. Your queen is waiting for you, and she's fearful. She stood by you the whole time throughout any turmoil here. There's the cat at her feet, and she doesn't care. She's looked fate right in the eye, and she says, I don't care. I'm standing by my man. You will have a new direction to go in, okay? Stop worrying about this. We often have regrets, but you have to wipe your hands clean of it. We learn from those lessons so you don't have regrets. So throw whatever resentment you have or, or, or harsh judgments out into the universe. You don't have to, you know, you've owed up to what you've, what you've created in your life. And now it's time for you to step up and make yourself because we can only make ourselves happy. We can't entertain anybody else to do that for us. And happiness is a choice. So you're getting rid of this negative energy. Perhaps it's a relationship, people, uh, whatever it is around you, you're clearing it away now. And you've thought long and hard about this move, Aries. Well, my beautiful Aries, this is your reading for the week of July the 1st to the 8th. I wish you a great 4th of July for those celebrating that and the great, great 1st of July for you that are selling the beginning of July as well, whether you're in the States or you're in Canada. And I want you to remember this, dear ones, that the universe and the divine, your higher power, wants you to succeed, Aries, and find your happiness and peace. So... Surrender to it and forward and look and move forward towards your goals and your happiness here. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I'll see you soon. And I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you.